So we start. So we'll start warm ups in sitting position. We start with uh, Kapal Badi. So fold your legs. If possible, sit in Padmasan. Otherwise, wherever you are comfortable. And then keep your hands on your knees. Hold your knees. Keep the hands straight and steady. And then you will forcefully take the abdomen behind. And breathing in will be passive. Stop the practice and just feel the effect of what you've done in your lower pelvic area, abdominal area. Pay attention to your breathing. After the practice, has your breathing changed in any way? Just make an assessment. And some of the practices we'll try today will be for the hip joints, lower limbs, etc. So in the first of the practice, you'll stretch, stretch both the legs out in front. And then you'll fold your right leg, catch hold of your right foot with both the hands. And then try to take the foot as close to your body as possible. If you're very comfortable, your forehead will touch the toes. And then very slowly release and relax. We'll repeat it with the left leg. Fold, the left, bend the left leg and catch hold of the left foot. And then slowly take it closer to the body. If possible, try to touch your toes with your forehead. Then very slowly stretch it and relax. Then we'll do the butterfly practice. So you will fold both the legs, bring them closer to your perineum, catch hold of your toes. Then first take it very slowly with the, both the knees coming close to the shoulder and then release it slowly with the knees going close to the ground. Then slowly increase the speed and stay at whatever speed you are comfortable. And then slowly stretch your legs. Fold the legs from outside and then stretch them back slowly. Now the next practice, you will fold the left leg from outside, the left heel is near the buttocks, the right leg is stretched. Now in this position you will try to lift the right leg up, catch hold of it wherever you can near the ankle and try to bring the leg as close to your body as possible. Do it in a relaxed way.
then very slowly release. Relax the body as much as you can so that you can actually pull the leg closer to the body. Now fold the left, right leg up from outside. Left leg is straight. One side can be more flexible than the other, which is natural. So be with it. Slowly lift the left leg up. Pull it closer to the body in a very relaxed way. Then slowly release and relax. Then we'll do a spinal twist. So we can do our regular practice of Ardha Matsyendrasan. So you'll fold your left leg with the left heel outside the right buttocks. Right leg folded and across the left knee. The right hand is on the left knee which is folded. The left hand is on the right foot. Breathing in you raise your right hand up and hold your breath. Breathing out you will take the right hand from behind and keep it for a support. The left hand will cross over, try to catch the left, the, I'm sorry, the right heel at the bottom, turn the body to the right side. When you're releasing, raise the left hand first, bring the right hand back onto the knees, hold your breath. And then very slowly breathing out, bring the left hand down to rest. Now we'll do the other side. So first stretch both the legs out. And slowly fold the right leg with the right heel outside the left buttocks. Fold the left leg across the right folded knee. Now the right hand is on the left foot. The left hand is on the right bent knee. Now in this position, breathing in, raise the left hand up. Hold your breath. Breathing out, take the left hand behind, right hand across. If possible, bring the left hand from around the waist and bring it towards the hip joint. Turn the face to the left side. Breathe normally to hold your position. Then breathing in, raise the right hand first, bring the left hand onto the folded knee, hold your breath. Breathing out, bring the right hand back to rest on the foot. And then stretch both the legs out. And then fold them from outside. Now the last practice. You will fold both the legs, bring them closer to the perineum. Catch hold of your toes. And then you will lift the, both the feet up a little bit and then stretch them straight and balance yourself on your buttocks. Breathe normally to hold the position. Try and relax the body so that you can hold it for a longer time. Then slowly bend them back towards the body, keep them on the ground, then very slowly stretch the legs out. 
one last time repeat this practice so along the ground fold both the legs bring them bring the foot closer to the perineum catch hold of your toes you can breathe in while stretching the leg out in this position see if you can hold your balance with your eyes closed if you're losing the balance keep the eyes open breathing out very slowly bend both the legs bring them closer to the perineum let them rest on the ground keep the hands behind you and very slowly along the ground stretch them forward wonderful now you can relax mentally chanting om as you do breathing if you want today you try the meditation of soham when you are doing your yogic breathing as you start breathing in chant the mantra so continue to chant so till you finish your breathing in as you breathe out mentally chant the mantra hum and continue to chant hum till you finish breathing out continue in this way get ready to chant mantra om seven times make your sankalpa i am chanting om creating a protective energy field around me that keeps me protected from all external negative influences 
antibodies and viruses. I am creating three layers of protection. On my outermost layer, I have six friendly creatures, an elephant behind me, a peacock in front, a tiger on my right side, a lion on my left side, an eagle above my head, and a black tortoise below me. Inside of that, I have a big ring with balls of fire. I am lighting all the balls, allowing a fire wall of protection to go up around me. Third layer of protection comes from the subtle energy of the mantra Om that I'm chanting. Take your awareness to Muladhara Chakra at the perineum, four petal lotus red color. Take a deep breath in for Om Mantra. Shift your awareness to Swadhisthana Chakra at the spinal terminus, coccyx bone, six petal lotus, orange color. Increase your pitch a little bit, take a deep breath. Uh... Shift your awareness to Manipura Chakra, behind your navel, 10 petal lotus, yellow color, increase pitch further, take a deep breath. Uh... Shift your awareness to Nahata Chakra behind your heart center, 12 petal lotus, green color, increase pitch further, take a deep breath. Shift your awareness to Vishuddhi Chakra behind your throat pit, 16 petal lotus, blue color, increase pitch further, take a deep breath. Shift your awareness to Aknya Chakra behind your eyebrow center, two petal lotus, indigo color, increase pitch further, take a deep breath. Take your awareness to Sahasrara Chakra, center of the top of your head, thousand petal lotus, white color, increase pitch further, take a deep breath. Shanti Mantras Om Sahana Bhavatu 
सहनाबुनु सह वीर करवाहस्तु मिशा वह ओं शांति 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 लिंग मुद्रा pay attention to how you are holding your mudra if you are interlacing the fingers very tightly relax them a little bit if your left hand thumb which is erect is tense then relax it if the right hand thumb and the index finger which is rotating around the left hand thumb is tense relax it pay attention to how you are holding your shoulders relax both of them Pay attention to your neck region. Relax it completely, and then follow me in making your sankalpa. I am chanting Mahamritin Jaya Mantra for physical health and mental well-being. Chanting the mantra every day helps me maintain the best of health mentally. and physically all my brain cells and my body cells are operating optimally and in harmony with each other i can feel your grace my lord penetrating deep into my body energizing each and every brain cell and body cell keeping me in pristine health at all times i bow down before you thanking you from the bottom of my heart for keeping me in pristine health and i promise to put in efforts to keep my body in a healthy condition be fitting for you to reside inside my body in your effulgent form om triyambakam yajamage sugandhim pushti vardhanam urvarkam iva bandhanan mrityor mukshi yamamritat त्रियंबकमे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाकमिव वंदना मृत्युर्मुक्षीयृता ओं त्रियंबकमे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाकमिव वंदना मृत्युर्मुक्षीयृता Om Shanti 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 Hari Om. Very slowly disengage your hands. Keep them on your knees. Let your body be completely steady. In the steadiness of that body. We'll try an experiment with whole body breathing today. It's a Tibetan concept. As you breathe in, you feel that you're breathing in and taking air through each and every pore in the skin on your body. Your hands, your back, your front, your sides, your legs, everywhere. You're breathing in through each and every pore. As you hold your breath, feel that this breath that you have taken in. is reaching the cells in the respective areas providing oxygen to the cells pushing out the carbon dioxide and as you breathe out visualize that you're breathing out through each and every pore in the skin in the body and then hold your breath outside feel your body is completely rejuvenated and refreshed and then repeat this for some time
Now release the practice, <laughs> then get ready for today's practices. We will be practicing somatic yoga. So we will be starting with standing up practices. The first practice is Dandha Hasta Uttanasana. As the word basically indicates what the asana is, bandha is a lock. So you're going to lock your hands in front by crossing them. From our brain yoga, we know that when you cross both sides of the hemisphere, it starts getting activated very actively. Now in this position, first watch and then we'll practice. Breathing in, you're going to bring the hands up straight like this. And then look at your crossed wrist by tilting the head a little up. Then breathing out, you're going to bring the hands from the side, bringing the head back to the center in the normal position. And then again breathing in, you're going to take the hands back, looking up. And then breathing out, you're going to bring the hands duly crossed from the front side of the body. Now when you are doing this, pay attention, apart from crossing the hands which gives you activation from both the right and the left hemisphere of the brain, you are going to lift your hands up so your upper trapezius will come into operation. When you are tilting your head up, you are activating your thyroid glands and you are, act and you are contracting the muscles in the back of your neck. Your cervical gets a slight compression. And when you are releasing it slowly, you are releasing all the cervical vertebrae as well. And as you are bringing your hand back down, you are releasing and resetting your uh, trapezius muscle. Sorry. So you are working on the trapezius, you are working on the neck muscles, you are working on the cervical uh, vertebrae. So be aware of all this. Be aware of your breathing practice. There is no major contraindication. But if you are having a frozen shoulder or a stiff shoulder and you cannot raise the hand so much, raise it to wherever you can and from that position release it very slowly. So then the frozen shoulder will start releasing up. So go according to your capacity, get ready. Cross the hands in front of the body. Five times you will practice this. Breathing in, take the hands up, tilting the head up, looking at the wrist. Hold your breath. Breathing out, bring the hands at the shoulder level from the side. Let the head come back to neutral position. Hold your breath. See which muscles are helping you suspend the hands in this position, fighting against gravity. Be aware of it. Then breathing in, bring both the hands back, tilt the head up, look at your wrist. And breathing out, continuing to look at your wrist, bring the head back to neutral position and bring the hand down. Don't look down. 
only come up to the neutral position and stop. Second round, very slowly breathing in. Lift both the hands up, allowing the head to tilt upwards, looking at the wrist. Hold. Feel the stretch at the front side of the neck. Breathing out. Bring the hands from the side. At the shoulder level, let the head come back to neutral position. See what is making the shoulder muscles contract to hold your hands in suspended position, fighting against gravity. Breathing in, bring both the hands up back to cross each other, tilt the head up, look at the wrist. Feel the stretch on the front side of the neck, contraction on the back side. Breathing out, releasing your trapezius muscle, resetting it, bring the hands very slowly back and let the head tilt back to neutral position and relax. Now in the next round, you're going to do only mental practice. So keep the hands crossed in front. Mentally visualize how your shoulders are helping you lift your hand up. What is the muscle that is helping you pull the hand upwards? Your head is tilting up along with the hand in a synchronized way. Now your eyes are focused on your wrist. You can feel the complete stretch on front side of the neck, contraction on the back side of the neck. You are holding your breath wonderfully. As you breathe out, you are bringing the hands down from the sides, keeping the hands at the shoulder level. You are focusing your attention on the muscles that is helping you keep your hands in suspended animation, fighting against gravity. Breathing in, you are taking the hands up once again, crossing them, tilting the head up, looking at your wrist. And finally, breathing out, you are bringing the hands duly crossed from the front side of the body. The head is tilting back to neutral position. And now, experience the effect of what you have done on your shoulder, on your neck, on your cervical region. Then you will complete it by two more rounds. Get ready, breathing in, start raising the hands up, tilting the head up, look at your wrist. Feel a stretch in the front side of the neck, contraction on the back side. As you breathe out, bring the head back to neutral, hands from the side, keep them suspended at the shoulder level. See, see how muscles are helping you hold the hand against gravity. Otherwise, gravity should have pulled your hands down. Breathing in, tilting the head up, raise the hands, cross them over, look at your wrist. Breathing out, very slowly bring your hands down from the front. Hands should come from the front, not from the side. Last round, get ready, take a couple of breaths, breathing in, take the hands up, breathing out, hands from the side, suspended at the shoulder level, head back to neutral, full awareness of the shoulder muscles. Breathing in, hands are raised and crossed, held is tilted up, concentration on neck muscles. Breathing out, the hands come duly crossed from the front side of the body, head comes back to neutral. Bring the hands down slowly, experiencing the relaxation and resetting of the muscles. Then bring the hands by the side and relax. As you relax and feel the effect of what you have done, I'll explain to you the next asana, which is Akarsha Dhanur Asana. Now in this practice, you're going to also bring into play a muscle called latissimus dorsi, which is a big muscle on the back, which starts attaching from this side of the arm, goes all the way to catch onto your spinal cord on the back. So you, we have done this in our somatic practice. 
in your red light, uh, I mean your trauma protocol, when you are lying on the side, cupping the hand like this, we used to pull the hand behind, if you remember. This practice is somewhat similar. So here you are going to first take the left leg a little forward. Once you have taken the left leg a little forward, you will stretch your right hand, make a fist with the thumb going inside, fingers rotating around the thumb and the hand is, the uh, wrist is directly in the level of your toes. So pay attention to that. So adjust your toes and in this position, you're going to make a fist out of your right hand and bring it along with the left. And then breathing in, this is a starting position. Breathing in, you're going to pull it as though you're pulling the string of a bow and feel a slight twist in the neck, contract the neck muscles, let the hand go behind completely, hold your breath and then you can release the hand like the quick release that we do when breathing out, okay? So get ready now, left hand stretch forward, make sure that the wrist is, left wrist is over the left toe right hand along with the left hand breathing in pull the string with the right hand eyes are looking at the target in front of you so you're going to shoot the target hold your breath release the bow shooting the target and relax your hands second round get ready Breathing in, pull your hands behind, feel the latissimus dorsi helping you pull the hand behind, feel the slight tension in your neck, you are holding the bow, ready to release, breathing out, release in a quick way. Third round, keep both the hands together, breathing in, pull the right hand behind as though you are Pulling the string of a bow, eyes are looking at the target, focus, breathe out, release the bow, release the hand in front. Then come back and see what difference you can experience between the right side of your shoulder and the left side of the shoulder. How does the right side of the neck feel as compared to the left side of the neck? Whatever differences you can experience or make note of, do it. Then you will stretch the right leg forward. The right hand with the fist is over the right toe. And then the left hand is along with the right hand. Now you are going to shoot with the left hand. Eyes is focused at the target in front. Breathing in, pull. The bow completely hold, breathing out, release completely. Now I've experimented this with uh, youngsters. I tell them that whatever they have an anger against, that becomes a target. So I tell them, pull the bow and you're imagining that you're shooting that effect which is creating anger in you and kill that anger. And this actually reduces the effect of anger in the kids. So you can also experiment with that. If there is anything that is irritating you, make that as your target. So get ready. Pull, breathing in. Feel the tightness a little at the neck, at the shoulder. Release the bow, release your hand. Last round. Your target is this, whatever is causing anger in you. Breathing in, pull the hand. Go behind as much as you can comfortably go. Focus on your target. Breathing out, release and relax. And now, once again, pay attention to both sides of the shoulder. Are they now symmetrical? Whatever differences you noticed before, as it eased up, how do you feel on the neck region? Are both sides of the neck now looking effectively the same? And then just test your 
both the practices put together how your shoulders and neck are relaxed by trying to bend your head to the right side and see how far your ear can go close to your shoulder without raising the shoulder up and slowly come back and do the same on to the left side if your ears can touch your shoulders that means your flexibility has maximized or optimized if they are not touching you will have to work further to enable the neck to completely relax so this is a good test of how much you have increased your flexibility try this practices together now we are going to practice kati chakrasan for the spinal twist so keep the hands by the side of the body you can practice with me since you have done this before you don't need any demonstration breathing in raise both the hands at the shoulder level keep one feet distance between the feet okay hold your breath breathing out swing to the right side right hand comes from behind the waist left hand on the right shoulder turn as much as you can comfortably turn to the right side try to look over your right shoulder and then breathing in come back with the hands coming up at the shoulder level hold your breath hold your position very slowly bring your hands down when you are doing it on the other side pay attention to how your spinal vertebrae at the lumbar region one by one are helping you rotate and allowing the entire body to rotate various vertebrae have to rotate at different angle for the body to completely rotate mentally relax all the spinal vertebrae so that they can twist to their required optimal level allowing you to twist wonderfully to the left side pay attention to your latissimus dorsi which is helping you lift your hand up and as you are swinging you are working on the trapezius muscle pay attention to that so with all this awareness and awareness on your breathing very slowly breathing in lift both the hands up latissimus dorsi hold your breath the muscle is holding you helping you hold your hands against gravity breathing out trapezius muscle in action left hand from behind right hand on the left shoulder try to look over to the over the left shoulder on the left side twist the body to the left complete awareness on the spinal vertebrae which are twisting to help you twist to the left side breathing in releasing all those spinal vertebrae back to their harmonic position hands are at the shoulder level hold your breath very slowly releasing the trapezius and the latissimus dorsi bring your hands to rest on your side slow release is the key aspect in somatics so we must constantly remind ourselves to release slowly only then the relaxation and resetting of the muscle reaches the upper cortex in the brain and therefore it stays with us and the muscle stays relaxed so pay attention to the speed at which you are releasing if you are doing it fast tell yourself to slow down ask yourself can i do it slower than i did the last time so second round breathing in both the hands at the shoulder level hold your breath breathing out turn to the right side right hand from behind the waist left hand on the right shoulder complete awareness from the spinal twist the vertebrae that are twisting breathing in come back to the center hands at the shoulder level latissimus dorsi breathing out bring the hands back relaxing and resetting the trapezius muscle and the latissimus dorsi pay attention to the effect of what you have done just now on the back side on the spinal vertebrae and see the next round when you can you relax a little more can you reduce your muscular effort and still turn the same way 
ask yourself what can i do to reduce my muscular effort and see if you can reduce it breathing in very slowly in a relaxed way hands at the shoulder level hold your breath breathing out twist to the left side left hand from behind the waist right hand on the left shoulder look over your left shoulder on the left side pay attention to how the spinal vertebrae have twisted to allow you to twist breathing in come back with the hands at the shoulder level pay attention to latissimus dorsi and the trapezius hold your breath hold your hands breathing out very slowly bring the hands down very slow wonderful now with that we'll get into sitting down practices so slowly squat down So the first set of practice is for the digestive organs, so which is Yoga Mudra. You are familiar with it, so no instructions are required. You will create a fist. You will keep the hands at the lower abdomen. You will take a deep breath in and twist your chin up. Now the stretch of the neck is where you will pay attention to. As you bend forward, it is your rectus abdominis muscle. which are contracting the back muscles are stretching breathing out you will come down you can either hold your breath or breathe normally breathing in very slowly take your head up chin tilting up breathing out let the head come back to neutral position now in the second round we are going to hold it for a count of 30 you can breathe normally so take a deep breath in tilting the chin up breathing out pay attention to rectus abdominis muscle contracting rectus spinae at the back extending bend forward breathe normally relax your hands 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 breathing in very slowly lift your head up take the chin upwards hold your breath breathing out let the chin come back to normal position now stretch your legs out and relax and experience the effect of what you have done on your digestive organs now we will do shashank asan those who have a knee problem can do paschimottanasan so whatever is convenient be with it <clears throat> so you are in this position for shashank asan keep your hands on your knees you can practice with me because you have done this before you don't need any instruction again so very slowly breathing in both the hands up arms are touching the ears hold your breath hold your position as you breathe out you are bending forward once again it is the rectus abdominis when your palms touch the ground then bend the elbows and then take your head closer to the ground either hold your breath 
or breathe normally. Breathing in, bring the head, hands up, arms are touching the ear all through. Hold your breath, hold your position. Breathing out, very slowly, bring both the hands to rest on the ground, on the knees, sorry. <coughs> slowly bring them down. So once again, remember when you are raising your hands up, the trapezius muscle comes into operation partially latissimus dorsal. As you are bending forward, it is this front muscle here, which is the rectus abdominis that is contracting, allowing you to bend forward. At the same time, the muscles on either side of your spinal cord are extending in a contrary position to allow this flexion to happen. And when you are releasing, you are resetting and releasing the back muscles, the rectus abdominis, and when you are bringing your hands down, you are resetting and relaxing the trapezius and the latissimus dorsa. So pay attention to all this and we will try and keep a count of 30. Breathe normally when you are down so that you can hold your position. And please remember if you want to release before 30, please do so. Don't hold it uh, with a stress in the body. The moment you feel a discomfort, please release immediately. So breathing in, <coughs> raise both the hands up. And arms are by the side of the ears, they are touching the ears, hold your breath. Breathing out very slowly, bend forward with complete awareness of which muscles you are contracting. When the palms touch the ground, bend at the elbow, let the forehead come closer to the ground. If possible, forehead will touch the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29.30. Breathing in slowly, come up. Keeping the arms, touching the ears. Hold your breath. <coughs> Breathing out, very slowly bring the hands down. Very slowly, very slowly, very slowly. Wonderful. Now relax. Stretch your hand, legs out. We have done two forward bending, so we'll do one backward bending. So we'll do Ushtrasan as a backward bending asan. When you are ready, after you have experienced the effect of what you have done, we'll come back into Vajrasan. <coughs> and in Vajrasan, you'll actually come up in this position. This is your starting pose. Breathing in, you raise both the hands up and your toes are actually uh, flexed on the ground like this. If possible, you do it. If you cannot, then keep it like this. Okay? So you're keeping your hands in front. Breathing in, raise both the hands up. Hold your breath. Breathing out, swing from the left, right side, catch the right angle. Swing from the left side, catch the left angle. Push your chest forward, bend your head backwards, tilt your head. Breathing in, raise both the hands up, hold your position. Breathing out, very slowly come back to Vajrasana and relax. We'll do one more time. So breathing in, come up, hold your position, hold your breath. Breathing out, swing from the right side, then from the left side, catch both the ankles, push the chest forward, tilt the head backwards. Feel a nice stretch on your throat.
Then breathing in, bring both the hands up, hold your breath. Breathing out, very slowly come back to Vajrasana and then slowly release your position and relax. Then you will lie on your stomach. We will be practicing the Shalabhasan variation. So I'll just give instructions since you're familiar with this. Forehead is touching the ground. Both the hands are stretched in front of the body, over the head. Straight. Hands are straight in front, correct? Now very slowly raise your right hand and left leg up. Breathe normally if you want to hold for a longer time and then very slowly breathing out, come back to neutral position. Wonderful. Now you are giving a nice backward bend. This is very similar to the myth of aging lesson one that we did if you remember where you are keeping the hand in front of your chin and you are raising your elbow and the head up. This is very similar to that. And the opposite leg you are lifting up, all the three put together. So very similar. So all the muscles are working. When you are raising your hand and your head up, feel the contraction flowing on the side of the hand. That is right hand you are lifting up, the right side of the spinal muscles are contracting. Left leg is lifted up, the uh, hamstring muscles in the left leg are contracting and the movement goes into the opposite glute, which is the right glute in this case. So pay attention to all this, very slowly breathing in, raise the right hand, left leg up, feel the contraction along the right side of the spine, the right glute, left hamstrings. Very slowly breathing out, allow both your hand and your leg and your head to come back to rest on the ground. One last time for somatic practice, lift your right hand, left leg and your head up, feel the contraction along the spine, glute, hamstrings, very slowly breathing out, release, feel all those muscles are going back to their resting tonus and relaxing, feel the effect of what you have done. Compare the muscles on the right side of the spine with the left side of the spine and see if you can experience or notice any differences. Feel the muscles, the gluteus maximus on the left side and the right side. See if you can notice any difference. Does the left leg feel different from the right leg? And when you have experienced it now mentally, Visualize you're raising the left hand and the right leg up and see how the backward contraction is happening. Feel how you are able to lift to a reasonable extent, comfortably and then very slowly release. And then when you're ready, start actually breathing in, raising a left hand, right leg up. And very slowly breathing out, relax. Second round, breathing in, left hand, right leg up, head up. Very good. Very slowly breathing out, slowly, 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 slowly. Remember slow, remember slow. Last practice, breathing in, and slowly breathing out, come back to rest. Now turn on your backside, we'll do one supine practice. So we'll do Kandarasan today, so if you don't remember Kandarasan. You will be folding your legs, bringing them close to your buttocks. You will catch hold of your ankle with both the legs. 
and then breathing in you lift your knee and your your thighs up your back side of the body up as much as you can take it up you will hold your breath and hold this position feel the complete stretch on your hamstring muscles feel the stretch on the back and then very slowly releasing and resetting those muscles come back to rest on the ground so get ready three rounds <clears throat> very slowly breathing in lift the upper body up <coughs> as much as your body can go away from the ground feel the nice stretch at the hamstring muscles feel the contraction of muscles at the lower back and then breathing out very slowly release very slowly release you are voluntarily resetting those muscles second round breathing in come up breathing out very slowly release last round and then release then stretch your legs out and completely relax in shavasana stretch your legs hands are by the side of the body palms facing the sky relax your heels relax your foot relax your toes relax your ankle joints and your shin relax your calf muscles relax your knees and back of the knees relax your thighs relax your hip joints hip relax both your glute muscles relax the entire spinal cord vertebrae from the lower vertebrae to the topmost vertebrae relax the lower back relax your mid back relax your upper back relax both your shoulders relax both the hands from the shoulder joint down to the fingers relax the neck relax the back of your head top of your head forehead all facial muscles front side of your neck front side of your chest pay attention to your relax your abdomen all the organs in the abdomen let the whole body sink in and try and be in tune with the chanting of purusha suttam शीर्षा पुषा 
सहस्राक्ष सहस्रपात सभूमि विश्व तो वृत्वा अत्यतिषदशांगुम पुष वेदग्वर्व यदूत यम भूतामृतान यदनातिरोहतीन से महिमा अतो जायागमश पादो विश्वाभूता त्रिपादस्यामृत दिवे त्रिपादूर्ध्व उदयपुरुष पादो सेन तथो विश्व व्यक्रामत शाशनाशने तस्माराड जायत विराजो अधिपुरुष स जातरिच्यत पश्चात भूमिमथो पुरा यत्षेण विषा Give up this practice of awareness. Become conscious of your body lying on the floor. <clears throat> Gently fold your fingers and open them. Bend your hands at your elbows and put them back. Bend your legs and then stretch them back. Take your hands over your head. Give a nice stretch to the entire body. and then turn to one side and sit up we'll practice anulom vilom or nadi shodhan pranayam as it is called with all the three bandhas so you will first close your left nostril i mean right nostril breathe in from the left whatever count you are doing be aware of that you will close both the nostrils you will bend your chin first and then you will bend your neck with the chin coming closer to your chest and then you will pull your perineum up moola bandha it is not pulling the anus up but it is the perineum or for the ladies it is at the cervix the vagina so you will pull that up and then you will take your abdomen inside as much as you can so all the three bandhas hold this if possible four times the count of your breathing in if not release whenever you feel discomfort then you will first release your abdominal contraction okay and then you will release your moola bandha then you will release your jalandhar bandha then you will open your right nostril and breathe out don't start breathing out before your head is completely up so first you will release udyan bandha which is the abdominal contraction then you will release the moola bandha which is the perineum contraction then you will release the jalandhar bandha which is the neck contraction now all the in instructions we give you this in sequence you will hardly notice the difference so it will go something like this so you will the gap between release each of them is very minimal but then try and maintain the sequence of releasing the udyan mool and then the throat stop continue till i tell you to stop I forgot to tell you, breathing out should be twice breathing in. So one is to four is to two is the ratio. And after you breathe out again, do Jalandhar bandha, Udyan bandha, Mula bandha.
<coughs> Continue the practice as I blow the shank. Complete your round, then get ready for chanting Om. Make your sankalpa, I'm chanting Om, creating protective energy field around me that keeps me protected from all external negative influences, antibodies, and viruses. Take a deep breath for Om Mantra. Asatoma sat gamaye, Tamasoma jotir gamaye, Mrityorma mrutam gamaye, Sarvesham swastir bhavatu, Sarvesham shantir bhavatu, Sarvesham purnam bhavatu, Sarvesham mangalam bhavatu. Loga samastha supino bhavantu On trayambakam vijamahe sugandhim pushti vardhanam Urvarukam iva pandhanam rityor mukshi yamamritat On shanti 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 hari yon Rub your hands nicely when they're warm, then keep them on your eyes. Feel the warmth flowing in from the palm into the eyes. Gently open your eyes. Be observant of colors you see when you open the eyes. Then slowly release your hands. Aryon, that's it. If possible, try and practice the pranayam for some more time. We have not given enough time to it. I wanted to give it for 10 minutes, but then our Time got overshot a little bit. So if you have the time, please practice pranayam for some more time. Bye. See you on Wednesday. Please remember, we have a class on Wednesday. <laughs>